What's going on, Shaman Low? Out here on the rush hour tip right now. Just want to drop something that came into my awareness. In the movie Baby Boy with Ving Rhames and Tyrese Gibson, Ving Rhames got into a discussion with Tyrese about guns and butter. And the point of that discussion was to talk about assets that appreciate over time and assets that depreciate over time. When he was talking about assets that appreciate over time, usually talking about stocks, real estate, in in these present times, uh, cryptocurrency. And he was talking about butter, jewelry, clothes, um, you know, those, those, uh, those consumables that don't really hold their value with respect to other assets. And this conversation, I think Baby Boy was in 90, I want to say 97 or something like that. If I don't get me wrong, you know, I didn't do the research. I'm just doing this video off the top of the head. And I think, I think my people still forget about this conversation. Because recently, there has been, there have been videos out discussing and highlighting the, the ills of what are, what's happening with brothers that are traveling to places like the Dominican Republic and Colombia. And what they're doing is they're flossing on the people there, meaning they're, they're peacocking, for, you know, for you guys that don't know about the jargon. They are wearing expensive jewelry, Air Jordans, expensive clothes, in in impoverished nations. Now, I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm not a judge. But my thing is, if you want wear these types of items and clothes in your nearest ghetto, why would you go to a place that is that has a higher murder rate than your ghetto? That the standard of living is lower than the American ghetto. And do the same thing that you know better than not to do in your own neighborhood. In your own ghetto nearest to you. Not your neighborhood, in the ghetto nearest to you. Now, let's say if you're if you're from let's say you're from a ghetto in St. Louis. And you go to a ghetto in New Orleans. If you don't know anybody from that ghetto, you are a tourist. I remember Juvenile said it best on his 400 Degrees album. He said, if you're not from here, you're an alien. You know, you're not from the hood you say you're in. If you come around here, you will be an alien. Something like that. In other words, he says, if you're not from this ghetto, it doesn't matter what ghetto you're from, who you're raised around, how many times your deltoids are striated it doesn't matter all of that when someone draws down on you and in their hood you are an alien so even from state to state within the same country with a police that some of you negroes want to defund You know, not knowing whether or not if there was an emergency, you would call them same cost. But that's another discussion. The question is, why would you go to a country where people are, are, people don't even know where their next meal is coming from, dude. And wear all of your jewelry and flash all your, all your little dollar bills and show off. And then you get hit over the head, you get pistol whipped. And, you know, now now you're hurt. You feel some type of way. 
I mean, and, and here's the thing. I start off when, and, and this guy, you know, I respect him. Aaron Ferris, he's the founder of Black Men Travels. He has to get on multiple times and tell niggas to stop fucking flossing in these third world countries. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Like, why do we as black men feel, you know, this is just like, you know, this is just like the, 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 the discussion that Woody Harrelson had with Wesley Snipes' character in the movie. Oh shit, I just lost it. <laughs> White man can't jump. He said Woody Harrelson was not concerned with winning, but looking good. Hot dogging. Has the Negro not learned anything since the, the early to mid 90s? We've been having these discussions. Aaron is telling you guys, stop. Now, not only has he been telling you guys to stop flossing, he's telling you to stop fucking ruining the curve. In other words, stop inflating the economy by by quote unquote making it rain and handing out money like like you're on some movie dude i don't know what i know you, you you're living inside of your own mind like i remember tupac saying in the movie in the, in the song last one's left he's living like a don in his own mind and i understand you want to feel important but dude is, is it worth your life is it worth is it worth getting hurt is it worth like losing your, your, your ability to return to the States or being in a situation where you have to beg your way back to the consulate. That's why I first, for a minute, I was entertaining. I thought, you know what? I was entertaining going to Colombia. But now I'm hearing that they're on to the niggas so bad that they're starting to tax niggas as soon as they're getting out of customs. As soon as they hit the, as soon as they hit the bricks. As soon as a Negro takes his, 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 his Air Jordan shoe and steps foot right across the customs, here they come, trying to tax him. $300 to get into the country. When I heard that, I was like, nah. Y'all done fucked up the market. See, what happens is, you done went there, and like a lot of dudes, I see them on these Facebook groups. And they're like, well... Why are other niggas dick policing me? Why are other niggas dick telling me how to spend? Nobody's telling you how to live your life, dude. But if you think about it, we're stronger together than we are separated. So why would you go and ruin the economy by inflating it and pumping extra dollars into it when it's not necessary? When all you're doing is you're repeating the same behavior. See, like Kid Frost says, it's not where you're from, it's where you're at. But even so, even more so, it's not really where you're from or where you're at, it's who you are. And people are generally the same. It doesn't matter where you're from, what race you're from, economics, nose, no color. The rules are still the same. So if you go to a place where you're, you, you see, the reason why you're a high value man in these places is because of the le the standard of living is lower. So to get to this place, you didn't raise your level. You went to a place where the level and the bar was lower. And I get that, but you need to show some type of restraint if you want the gains to continue. See, what they do is they go in and they suck out all of the gains. They go in and they suck out all of the juice and then they leave you with the pulp. And if brothers, and the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the problems that brothers are facing in other countries, it's the same shit they got, it's that same mentality they got going on here. And I'm not saying all of them, a lot of them that don't know how to act here done, done, done got their passport and took that same level of activity to third world country. And now it's, it's happening there. See, I like to travel to places where a lot of Negroes ain't known to going for, for going to because I want to control my own narrative. I want to control my own narrative. I don't want to depend on the narrative, on NBA 
na- the narrative of NBA niggas, rap niggas, thug niggas. I don't want to. I, I I don't want that type of persona. I don't want to be seen in that light. I don't want women to want to fuck me because they think I'm a rapper or I'm something that I'm not. You know, I understand that I have a ha- higher level of income in some of these places, but but I don't need to show people. And I wouldn't need to do exorbitant things to do that. But yeah, man, this came across my desk. And it's one of those, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I think I might start to notice me files. You know, Negroes wanted to be noticed. And here it is to their detriment. Now you hear about, you know, Bama's getting shot. Bama's getting robbed. You know, it's just, it's just sad. It's really sad. I think... It might, it might have something to do with male mother need. It might have something to do with, you know, with, with our psycho- psychology as black men. Like our psychology when it comes to wanting to be, uh, wanting to have attention or wanting people to love us. Maybe we, need, maybe we need to invest those dollars in therapy rather than trying to go off and trick off somewhere else. Maybe it's the money is better spent sitting across the room in a chair from someone and going through why why your mother was an absentee and your childhood rather than sitting in the in the chair with a woman dancing on your lap and throwing dollars down her bra maybe it's better spent on therapy maybe if we can get ourselves right maybe the world will look better around us and maybe we can create the opportunities that are going to allow us to raise our level where we're at so that when we go somewhere else it's just by the virtue of traveling but not to be better or bigger than someone else in their own country low out 